guys, today we're at this shop and this is Matt and his uh, rack for toolbox decks, also called uh, Woodwalk. Mm. What's the deck also called? Uh, 101 deck, as I like to call it. It's yeah. I literally just play 101. That's it. You okay. Just go 101, and steal everything I love. Okay, let's right, go ahead with the deck profile. Yep. All right. So we're playing a generic um, heroic engine with the three Howard and the 2000 blades. It just great piercing, special summoning. It's like a cyber dragon. Just get to search this. This always comes back when you take damage. It's just kind of great for getting out lots of rank fours. Yep. Then you got two summoner monks for searching out your rank fours as well. This is mainly for sacred crane or star drawing, which we'll see in a minute. Yep. So for the draw power, it's great because you sometimes you have a lot of dead spells as well. You got three goblin bug as well for summoning uh, your draw cards as well, like sacred crane and star drawing. Then it's a warrior for yeah, rotor. Just a warrior. Yeah. Get uh, you can rotor it along with the uh, heroic engine. Yeah. So it's just really consistent. You get an extra someone from your hand as well. MVP of the deck, three sacred crane. Woo! Best card, best card. Too strong. It's a compulsory draw card that whenever you special it, that includes Goblin Bug, Soul Charge, um, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Summoner Monk, it's yeah. just great for draw power. I love the card, it's amazing. I could consider running it at two, but it's good at three with triple Goblin Bug. Okay. You got three star drawing, again for draws. Um, exceed with it, draw a card. If you've got two, you can even go to a five. I don't run any because it's super inconsistent. Mm -hmm. But again, just draw power, get to all your nice cards, just keep going with the deck. Yep. You got two cage to cage. Cage to cage. Cage to cage, or Kigeto Kage, as you like to call it. Yep. It's good if you've got a dead straw drawing in your hand and no goblin bug, as well with um, the thousand blades, free rank four, plus good first turn play generally tends to be uh, going to King of Feral Imps. Yep. And then you can search it out and if you get two searches with King of Fellow Imps if they leave it on board you'll generally win the game because you've got too much advantage at that, at that point. Yep. Running it at three is way too cloggy though. Running yep. it at two is absolutely so fine. Then you got one foot on threshold to round it all up. Yep. It's a great stick. Um, just 21 special yeah. summon it if you've got no monsters. Also just, rotor target. Also rotor target, yeah. yeah. It's just a massive stick. Uh, nice to get out of rank fours as well. Just generally a good yeah. card. One of because two is too cloggy. Yep. That's the monster lineup. I believe that's 20. Nice and solid. That's all you need. Yep. Spells, three rotors, such as that most of the deck, absolutely fantastic. If there's that one, I'd cry. <laughs> uh, then one thing I like to play, which a lot of people don't play, is Rank of Magic Quick Chaos. I personally love this card. The fact that it's a quick play, you can go from 101 into C101, it's the main point of this deck. Uh, it gets around a whole lot of cards. Yeah. You can just uh, game people as well. Oh yeah, you just game people as well. It's like instant OTKs with yeah. it if you get out the right cards. Plus, it's it's just so good. If they target your 101 or something with uh, like their own 101. If they're with their own 101, an EVAC or anything like that, yeah. Castell, anything that might get rid of your 101, you just instantly quick play this from your back line and go straight into C101 and they just genuinely cry from there because they yeah. can't really get around that. Yeah. But favorite card in the deck, really. 2 MST for back row hate because we really, really, really don't like solemn vanities because yeah. they make us very, very sad. <laughs> uh, same thing with Lance, keeps your 101s and your C101s alive if they're going to do anything like so, uh, Bottomless or Evac or D Prison is the main one that I really hate. Mm -hmm. But just a nice card, stops mass heroes as well if they try to mass change. Mm -hmm. Play one dark hole because partially because I don't own a Raigeki. So that would be a Raigeki. That would be a Raigeki. Also with C101, if you blow up on your own side of the field, uh, you gain life points and it comes back, <laughs> and you can even activate its effect again if the got monsters like can't be destroyed by card effects. So you can steal two monsters in one turn if they're doing that kind of thing. Nice card, murder the field, generally good. Same thing with Book of Moon. Nice outs to whatever you need. Stops like nasty things. Foolish Burial gets your Thousand Blades in your grave. Very, very, very good for getting that in there. Starts a lot of plays going. Uh, or you can combo it with Sacred Crane and Soul Charge. Get those draws off a of Soul Charge when you special some Sacred Crane. It's so good. I love it. I did it once. You Soul Charge three Sacred Crane. You get three draws. And it's it you have to draw. Yeah, you have to draw. It's compulsory. It's not optional. It doesn't say if. It, Mate, if you're gonna deck out, you have to draw. Yeah, oh, no. you just have to. Like, you're gonna deck out. Don't care. Some Sacred Crane. Alright, that's all your spells. Yep. Nice line up there, generally solid. It, all it is is really just a solid deck with lots of mm. rank 4 toolbox. Trap line up, Tomb Fiendish Chain to stop nasty, nasty things such as other 101s and <laughs> Castells, because we don't like those, because we like to keep our 101 on the board. Well. Yeah, Excite on Night really hurts as well. Not as much because you can keep 101 on the board, because yep. uh, it doesn't die, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, yeah, you got one TT because mm -hmm. it's TT. We're playing generics TT, Solemn, Evac, Bounties, and Bottomless. Good. 
they're just good back row. Stops a lot of hate from monsters. Um, mm. Even monsters show. Sure. I don't know why I use that word. Yeah, monsters. Monsters. Mm, yes, monsters. Yes. Not monsters. <laughs> uh, even monsters. allows it to. So <laughs> yeah, these just back row lads stand up to a whole lot of matchups which would otherwise be kind of nasty. Yeah. Even sometimes even necros I've beat with this deck because you just solemn Trish and then you win from there. Yeah. But otherwise that's the deck. It's that's the completely card solid. Deck. Yeah. Completely solid deck. That's all you really need. Goes into lots of rank fours. Now to the extra deck, which is really the entire point. Yep. You got one abyss dweller because it stops a lot of nasty things in the grave. Upside down again. Uh, it's just nice. It's a great out to quite a lot of decks, especially in the scrub league, which is where I play this deck. Nice card. Excalibur, because you can get this guy out with two warriors, which does happen more often than you think. Mm -hmm. And Thousand Blades' uh, first effect, which not a lot of people realize, and even I sometimes don't because I'm really bad at this game, is if you've got him on the field and you've got another one or a Salt Halberd in your hand, you can discard it, special summon another heroic from your deck, and go straight into Excalibur. Absolutely yeah, fantastic. Nice. So it's like a mini summon among. Yeah, it really is. It's yeah. really good. It's yeah. even an out to towers if you ever find yourself up against that, yep. which is really quite irritating. Yep. So Excalibur, really nice card just to get over massive sticks. Ragnar Zero, really, really good card. I suggest playing this at one all the time. Yeah, I good might even consider it at two. Yep. There is a C version of it, there is a Chaos version, but I don't run it because it's not fantastic, Compared it's not really this worth one. it. All right. This, blow up a card if it's got different attack or whatever, draw a card, nice draw power, nice removal. Mm -hmm. One black ship of corn. This is only here because I don't own an Excite on Knight. So you would play Excite yeah, on Knight? Play Excite on Knight instead yeah. of this because 101 gets rid of anything, this would get rid of anyway. Yeah. You got one Heartland Draco. Uh, personally, this is again because I don't own a Cowboy, but I actually prefer it over Cowboy because if they really? don't have. Yeah, I much do prefer it because anything that would stop a Cowboy generally stops this as well. Mm. And this is just 2k for face, which can get you game a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gamed with this card so many times, it's absolutely oh, ridiculous. Okay. Love the card. Okay. You got a Gaga Gas Samurai. Uh, if you need to push, for lots and lots of damage while I've got an open board. This is just amazing. Just two attacks at 19, 38 damage straight away. It's just good. You could play Blade Armor Ninja. You could, but you play Excalibur instead. Because Blade Armor Ninja yeah, is still good. You need two warriors for Blade Armor Ninja, which yeah. is difficult to get. You'd rather go into Excalibur, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. you got one Castell, because Castell is a really nice Staple out to a lot of things. Staple rank four. Yeah. You could even run it at two, which I would like to, but I don't own another, because yeah. I'm really poor and it makes me sad. <laughs> and I don't have okay. all the extra like cards this rank four deck. I know it's great, oh, but yeah. Castell is amazing. I use it every single game. It's just good. You've got one OG Utopia because Utopia nobody expects and actually stops a lot of things from happening. It's amazing. It can stall you out enough time to get back into your 101s yeah. or Castells or whatever, and you just win the game from there. Yeah. It's a two five stick as well. It gets over what most people can put out. Does Utopia have a Chaos rank up? Uh, it does. I don't run it because I don't have a lot of room, room yeah. and there's there's so many rank ups for it. It's okay. just yeah. you don't know which one to run. Yeah. Alright, All right. main stakes of the deck, two 101s, yeah. I'm even going to get a third because people hate this card. I've had someone completely indestructible. Just, yeah, I have someone walk out the shop before because I summoned three of these in one game and took everything they loved. <laughs> it was hilarious. You look a little so two, one, two of these is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Along with the two rank, yeah. along with the rank of magics, you go into its big boss C101. Yeah. Again, same thing. You don't need materials to uh, just take a special summon monster. It doesn't matter what position it's in, as long as it's special summon, it's face up. You just take it. It's a once per turn, but it's not a once per turn per card name. So you can dark hole it, bring it back, take another monster. All Oh, it's shit. it's really good. Two eight stick. You gain life points if it dies as well. It's yeah. so it stays on the board. It's so sticky and it just takes things and wins your game straight. It's pretty away. big as well. Yeah, so, yeah. it's really big. It's really nice. It's just a good card. Yeah. Uh, some other cards that we run. We run a Rhapsody. Um, yep. It gets rid of nasty cards in the graveyard that might be triggering effects. Plus you can give uh, another card an extra 1200 attack. It's just really good for giving other things sticks. And you also can rank it up into its uh, Requiem and Berserk, which I love. The only reason I play this is because this exists, um, where it's not a once per turn. Uh, you, can ban you can detach material, banish a card on the field. That's crazy. It's not a once per turn. You can banish up three cards that they can't stop it. It straight up wins games. You can give another guy 2k by attaching it. It's such a good card. It's, I just have a lot of love for it. I don't know why. I just play it in the deck. Yeah. And to round it off, you have C, X, Y, Z, Barry, and Hope. <laughs> the reason I run this is because if they respond to your C101 with things like Fiendish Chain and stuff, you put this guy straight on top, and um, he becomes a 4k. If you've absorbed something with it uh, once or twice, it gets 5k as well sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I've had this guy get up to 8k before because you took three things over three times, went straight into this guy and went straight. 
yeah, face of the game. Yeah, it's it's a good card. If they respond to C one on one and doesn't don't remove it from the board, you go straight into this and just beat them down with it. Okay, okay. it's fantastic. All right, thanks for that. You want to say anything else before we finish the video? Um, I love the deck. I really do. However, Clown Blade is ultimately 100 percent better, and you win that in every single instance. So that's your new build for this deck, yeah. then I'm guessing. Uh, I play Clown Blade now. I played this before it came out, but Clown Blade is just better. All right, we'll be looking forward to your next deck profile. Right. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. Cheers.